Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that um, has uh, happened, of course, is the release of some updates for the Intel Core series of the 13th and 14th generation. I posted a listing of processors that had updates that were ready. So uh, in this video, I'm going to answer a few questions that uh, some of you have. So the first one is about you've got a 13th or a 14th generation CPU from Intel, and it's not on the list on the other video. I would still go and check out if there's a update on the manufacturer website for the BIOS, uh, because even though there's a specific set of Core i5, 7, and 9 that are apparently getting the problems of uh, voltage over voltage and that's breaking down the CPU um, there's a suspicion that maybe all 13th and 14th generation are affected so that's very important the other question uh, is my um, you know um, 8 generation or 10 generation or 11 generation affected by this Simple answer, no. It's 13th and 14th. We do mention 13th and 14th only. This, These are the two generations that has a problem. Um, some have said that they have started having problems with their core, their 13th, 14th generation um, Intel CPUs. Install the updates and it still crashes. That's because your CPU is damaged. So if you've installed the update and it crashes and it freezes and it has problems, you need to have the CPU change under warranty. Uh, Intel has increased the warranty length of the CPUs so that people that have issues can do so. If it's a PC you built yourself, well, you're going to contact, contact Intel directly. If it's a PC manufacturer that sold you the computer, Dell, HP, and so on, Call their support line and ask them what's the, how is it going to happen, and uh, there's going to be a procedure for you. So remember that if you've installed the update and you still got crashes, that means your your CPU has already started to degrade, and it will never come back to normal unless you actually use the warranty and change it. It's extremely important. So these are some of the questions. Uh, for the rest, a lot of people are asking me how you know, the, the main question that was, well, did, why didn't you post the link for the BIOS download? It, it's impossible. There's as many links of BIOS download that there's almost computers out there. It's up to you to do that step, to go to the manufacturer page. It's not that difficult. And go to the support page on your uh, the, whatever manufacturer sold you the PC and check for the updates there. Um, if you need help, call the manufacturer and say that you're trying to find uh, the page where to download and, and install this. Some of you said that this BIOS, the BIOS update on your PCs came through Windows Update, and you were wondering if that's fine. Well, if they do come through Windows Update, and you know they come from there, it probably has already been installed. Uh, there are some PCs that do have BIOS automatic updates, uh, with an assistant or with um, Windows Update. Uh, but if you're not sure, better compare and go and check the BIOS updates that uh, is available. And for the rest, BIOS updates are a little touchy. I would recommend that if you're not sure what to do, that you do get a qualified person that knows what to do in order to help you out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.